Ed Underhill came up to us around April or May and told us about how the Masonic Lodge is holding a film festival DVD home movie contest. And um, you had to make your own original movie and then you submit it to them and they watch it and they judge it like a film festival. Tell me a little bit about the presentation today. They actually did a special presentation for us where they held it in their chapel. And they, uh, they told us they, they rarely ever do that, so it was super special for us. And what would you guys get? We got trophies and little framed certificates, yep. and we got a check. Wonderful. Both of us did. Yes. yes. So let's talk a little bit about your guys' background, uh, editors and uh, filmmakers. What did you guys decide to put in? Um, the film I put in was The Devil and Tom Walker. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a short film I made, actually, for a class project, mm -hmm. and I re-edited it a little bit mm -hmm. for this contest here. I am the Prince of Darkness, the Father of all lies, the Deceiver. I am he to whom the Red Men consecrated this spot, and every once in a while roasted a white man by way of sweet-smelling sacrifice. I am the prompter and patron of the slave dealers, and I am the Grand Master of the Salem Witches! If I'm not mistaken, you are he commonly called Old Scratch. The very same at your service. I put in a film that I actually had to do for a class project as well. I made it in February. It's called The Right to Bear Arms. Um, it was basically about how a bunch of people in my government class kept always complaining and talking about the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, what if the Second Amendment wasn't actually about firearms, it was actually about real bears and their arms. <laughs> the animals. B-E-A-R. Yes, <laughs> and I decided that I told Noah on the bus one morning. <laughs> and that's how that came about. <laughs> Can you please give us some history on the Second Me Amendment and how it all started? Yes, you see, the funny thing about the Second Amendment is that most of the public believe that this has something to do with the right to own a firearm. <laughs> Silly people, it's not. It all started back with the founding fathers of the great nation and their natural obsession with bears. Bears, Dr. Madison. Yeah, you heard right, Jim. Bears. John Locke, Aristotle, James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, they all love bears so much they wrote it into the Bill of Rights. They wanted everyone then and now to enjoy their love for bears. This contest was the first one that uh, the Freemasons held, but it's going to be going into the Prompt Film Festival, and hopefully if they have an international film festival, these will be entered to as well. Yes, yes they will, as far as I understand. Yeah. That is what they said. Hopes and dreams for the future. I hope to go to the California Institute of the Arts and study film and acting also. Yeah. Literally the same thing. <laughs>